I just played myself. Okay. Um. Yeah. So this is the end of that. Oh wait. Should I? Can I do some more beauty poses? Don't look at myself or do you look at the viewfinder. That's the same thing. Do I look at myself or do I look at the camera lens? Sis. Hello, who's watching this? My name is Mina, and um, it's been like two years since the last time I did this. And um, I don't really like necessarily want to stick to makeup, but like this is what I know, and I need to put makeup on anyways. So that's what we're doing, and this is um a makeup tutorial for lazy ass bitches. So the first thing I'm going to do is spray rose water because, you know, I only drink water and use rose water to get clear skin. Wow, I am so cute. But, um, the tea is, I actually used to be one of those people. I'd be like, yeah, I only drink water. I don't wash my face. I just use water and rose water. Mm. It's like, hmm, that doesn't seem right. Like, if I'm wearing makeup, I should definitely be washing it off. Um, so my makeup routine is really short because I stopped really doing it. <laughs> because it's just a lot of effort and I don't have time for that. I mean, like, I do it sometimes for special occasions, but, like, every day. No one has time for that. Um, this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Rose, and this is an ebony, which is, like, darker than what I normally use. I went from ebony to dark brown to chocolate, and chocolate is my favorite, but this is the only one I have, and I'm broke, so, like, I'm gonna use it, you know? Also, my brows, like, you can probably tell, um, they're very different. So, like, this one is, like, really full in the front, but then, like, gets sparse right here. And this one's, like, fuller out here, but then, like, really sparse in the front. So this one I, like, draw out and then like fill in the front a little bit but with this one i only like draw out like i don't do anything to the front because it's already like there cool am i still ugly yes but am i as ugly as before no also this is uh my knee it's really big because um well it's big but also uh, I tore my ACL and then I had surgery so it's like still a little swollen from it even though it was two months ago. Just athletic things. But honestly, that was probably like one of the worst, best things that has happened in my life and I'll probably film a video explaining why but like I guess I'll go into it a little bit now because who knows what the future entails and if I'll actually do that. <laughs> I'm using the Too Faced Coco Contour and I, this is in medium to deep because I'm, you know, light skin. Um, and I use medium mocha and deep mocha combined. So basically, like, it just, tearing it really put things into perspective, like that anything could go wrong and like you kind of just have to like always push through it. So I tore it at an open gym before club season for volleyball started and I was like, uh uh, like I, I'm playing the season. So I did, I like had to wear a brace or whatever and at sometimes it was like really hard because like wow, your your knee like hurts. I tore my ACL and endometriosis by the way, two things. And it, I don't know, it just like taught me to like continue pushing myself through bad things and that the pain is most likely only temporary but I finally had the surgery like the recovery for the first I'd say two three weeks was like the worst thing ever like it really took a toll on my depression and cuz like you can't do anything like I could not do shit by myself but yeah like I was always in pain and like after the medicine the medicine I was only prescribed to it for a week so after a week it was like Oh, you can like use Tylenol now but like okay so yeah the pain was just really really bad and then there's also a phase where I think I was like allergic to the medicine so I got sick and I was sick for like three days like I could not keep anything down anytime I took medicine we just like I throw it back up like just wasn't okay 
So that's really bad. But once again, it taught me that like what I was feeling in that moment was really only temporary because now I feel great and physical therapy is going well. And I'm continuing to push myself. So like back to contour. Did I even put product on the brush? I didn't do that up here. Oh, I just blocked my face. Now I'm going to use the Becca Champagne Pop Highlighter. Now I'm going to use the Pretty Vulgar blush, and this is called Hush Blush. I don't know. I got this in a boxy charm box, and I liked it. Now another thing I got in a boxy charm box was the Laura Lee. Oh my God, that probably sounded so annoying. The Laura Lee uh, eyeshadow palette. Not a fan of her, not a fan of that palette, so... Donation! Cool. Now, on to the last step, because this shit is simple. We use... Not we, I. Use the ColourPop lip liner. And this is in Brink. And honestly, this step itself is like a little extra. Like, I don't always do this. And then, this is the NYX Lingerie Shimmer something in Euro Trash. Love that. Nope. No, I just look yellow. Black and yellow, black and yellow, black and yellow, black and yellow. Yeah, I don't know what it is. Okay, um, so that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.